Hey guys, so this morning I woke up with about, well, let's take a look, 6% battery. <laughs> and I knew I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the system on purpose. And we've had snow, so I'll cut over to a segment of me cleaning the snow off of the roof in a moment. <laughs> we had some snow in Connecticut in the middle of April, rather unusual. And I'm at 6% battery. I could plug in, but I'm crazy, so I came up on the roof here and cleaned all the panels. This is actually the first time I'm getting a look up here on the roof. So you can see what these 10 panels look like and how they're configured on the roof. The two junction boxes there. The uh, the water line vent, uh, the sewer vent, I guess. Uh, and then the two <clears throat> protrusions for the mini split cassettes. That's the only thing up on the roof other than the solar panels. <clears throat> now the trick for me getting up here was to use my ladder, which isn't quite tall enough for this rig, so, but it's tall enough to get to the slides and the slides, uh, they said at New Horizons, you can walk on them all day. They can support that kind of weight. So get up onto the slide and then from the slide up onto the roof. It's still pretty tricky, especially with snow here. It's, um, you know, the snow and the wetness and all that makes it pretty slick up here. So uh, I really don't want to do this again, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'm a little crazy. That is all, but I wanted to show what's been going on the past few days so you can get a sense of how the system is performing for me and what's going to happen when I have virtually no sun. So I typically right now have anywhere between 15 to 17 kilowatt hours of solar production on a sunny day. I had about 2.7 uh, on this day, zero on this day, and I, I've had some in the afternoon today. So I started off with, you can see here, 82% battery was my max. That's this up here. And that lasted basically three days without sun until I got to 6%. So better than I expected. That's pretty awesome. And I could plug into my parents' house where I'm at now, but instead I am just testing out my scenario of being plugged into a generator. So we'll, we'll walk over to that in a second. I have my generator running, which can produce a total of about 2790 watts max on propane. It's running on a bottle of propane now as opposed to the built-in propane. I haven't hooked that up yet. But I wanted to get the battery charged up higher. I wasn't producing a lot of solar. I'm, I'm actually, I mean, despite the fact that it's relatively dark and overcast, I'm still managing to produce 1.2 kilowatts of solar at the moment. So combine those two and, and I'm charging the battery at a pretty nice 3.3, 3.6 kilowatts. And I'm gonna get that up a little higher so I can do some laundry. That's gonna consume some power. But I've only been running the generator for, if we do the math here, like, you know, if I'm doing 2.8 kilowatts, if this read 5.6 kilowatt hours, that would mean two hours. So I've, I've been running it for a little less than two hours now. And I've, in addition to, of course, some solar, I've managed to get from 6% to 30%. And generally speaking, you know, you can see here that if, if I go to bed with 25, even 20%, I think I went to bed last night with 16%, battery then I'll have no problem getting through the night so I like to you know, I'm kind of figuring out where where my own personal thresholds are and limits are for for comfort and it looks like 25 percent or so would be a no-brainer for going to bed with that level so I just want to get this up higher so that I can get through the the evening and the night and tomorrow I think we have some better weather so let's uh, let's go outside and take a look at the generators. So here we are with my portable dual fuel champion generator. Nice front
frosty propane tank. But I'm just using a dog bone adapter from 50 to 30 amp. And the Victron's handled that perfectly well. So if we pop over to that area, you'll get a nice visual indication of what's happening from the Victron perspective, right? I've got one phase coming in, but I need two phases. So what you can see here is that one, line one, is bulk charging and the other one is inverting. So the two are still operating together to give me split phase and this one's charging the battery. Well, that's, that one's using the battery. It's a pretty sweet setup. These fans are running pretty good. I mean, it's kind of, it's cold out outside and the basement's not that warm, but the fans are running pretty good. I don't hear them inside at all. Even if I shut that generator off, I wouldn't hear them. I've been pleasantly surprised. I was a little worried that these were gonna to be too loud that I would hear them inside, but I don't. So that's working out quite well. So rest of my today, day today is pretty much moving out of the, the old RV that you can see there in, into the new one. Now I'm going to do um, another video segment or two. I'm going to talk about my propane usage, uh, which has been catching me off guard actually for heating the rig. I'm going to be talking about my hitch setup because I'm not happy with, with the way this is working out and the way the truck drives. I will be talking about my ground mount solar and how I'm gonna hook that in and all kinds of other goodies. So 